it's quiet. The investigation must be over here. So this is the Ephesus room. It's really... it really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. Nice try, Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. Eek! Whoa! S sorry, I, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. So, is it true what I heard? Righto, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if some anyone asked me, Sir, can I borrow $50? I'd give them $50, no problem. So, go ahead. Investigate that room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So, Chief of Police Gaunt will loan anyone 50 bucks? Even me? Oh, so that's what you were talking about. Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for today? Boss for a day. But guess what? You got permission from the chief, so now you're a boss for a day. Gee, thanks. First of all, you'll want to have this. Oh, thanks for the floor plans. So, Detective Gumshoe, you're boss for the day. That's right, it's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here, in the police department. But if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? They're using our findings from yesterday's investigation to prepare for the trial. In other words, Detective Gumshoe got kicked out of the investigation again. I'm adamant, though. I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. And in my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here too, Detective Gumshoe? Ah, of course. I'm a detective, after all. They gave me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open? I'll always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the Inquiry Committee right now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess-up in the court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth is just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case! The SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. This place is more high-tech than you think. Every locker is fixed so that only one detective can open it. Using this ID card? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm on my third card since entering the force already. That sounds like a lot. Yes, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? Oh, you mean your fingerprint. Exactly, pal. The lock for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. And that's the only locker we can open. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model! There's a trick to the handle, see? The handles? On the other side of the handles is a sensor, and if the wrong person touches it... Zap! You get shocked! If that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There's even some people in the fort that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Okay, what are we presenting? We're gonna present victim note. Detective Goodman's note, and that switchblade knife. I bet Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone. Because of the XL9 connection? That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But why would evidence from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case.
That's talked about the SL9. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder. A serial killing! A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him. And that was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right into the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors about forged evidence? It was supposed to be a clean... It, it was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transferal the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? So you mean... So what do you mean? Uh, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SO9 incident, see? So... So that switchblade knife... The victim took the knife out of the evidence... The, the victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself? Uh, suppose we're gonna present the ID card record now? Yes. Let's do it. Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumors. So it was Goodman who came in here at the time of the murder. Whoa! What is it? Th 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 that second number! It's not your ID is number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Mr. Edgeworth! What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth! What? What? Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Uh. Good question. <laughs> Oops, wait, no. Wait, actually I kind of can figure out why. Considering he did have to pick up a certain evidence for Mr. Gaunt. Wow, someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal, make me out to be some kind of hooligan. That's apparently from the case. The case? The X-09 incident, pal. See the sticker on one of the pieces there? Another piece of SL9 evidence. Let's take a closer look. Wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You wanna try to put it back together? Ah, good luck, pal. There's no job that's no job for amateurs. Well, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Excuse me. Ah, how do I do this now? <laughs> oh, okay, um... I'm probably gonna have to skip some of this while I figure this out. This is so ridiculous. Why is it like this?
Ah, there we go. <sighs> uh, huh? Well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. They are only look that only took me two minutes to do. The problem is finishing it. Were some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Still, it doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I kind of understand how it got broken. Okay, sure, cool. Um, let's examine the glove that's sitting right there. Someone left a glove here, but only one. Detective Gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal! Making me out for some kind of absent-minded detective. That's evidence from the case, you know. You mean SL9? It does have a tag on it. Let's add that to our little list of evidence. Uh, let's examine the handprints on the locker. What's this? Blood! That's a, it's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. It looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright! What if there are other bloodstains left in the room? We should use her testing fluid to check it out. Uh. Is there any more handprints? There's something sticking out of here. It looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence for some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this here. There you go, pal! Making me out to be some kind of slob! I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet that evidence locker was open recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had him breathing down on my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot, too. I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat, either. If you're going to talk behind someone's back, don't do it in front of them, pal! Oops. Alright, so how do I do this? Um... Look! This one's open! And there's an indicator uh, tag stuck on it still. That locker is coded with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker? Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. It's empty. They must have had taken the contents elsewhere. Alright, so. How do I examine this thing? This place is stuffed with evidence! Stuffed with dreams! I'm not so sure about the dreams. <clears throat> it won't open! I guess I should have known. Hey, pal! Our security is high-tech around here! Um... For some reason, I can't figure out how to do the liminal thing. Uh... Boy. Go court records again without having to do the stuff. Okay. Um... I like to use it. Oh, frick! Friggin' Wiimotes! Okay, where else am I spraying here? controllers. Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch the spot if he fled out the door. That just might be something significant. Hey, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What, this? It's called luminal testing fluid. Where'd you get your hands on that? Huh? I'd like to get some too. I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where do you get this, Emma? 
I always buy it by mail order. Well, I'd better jot this down on the floor plans. Spray harder. I knew it! This is someone's right hand print! What? What's the matter, Detective? This locker! It's mine! It's yours? Please! You have to help me! When they come to take me away! Promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly! You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jot it down the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys! Believe me, you can't trust the police! What? But you're a detective! <laughs> come shoot, please. Alright, one more spot. Spray harder! There must have been a massive amount of blood here. I've never seen so much before. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, Detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective Goodman. Was actually an alien? This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make a note of it on the floor plans. Hey, if you don't want my opinion, you wouldn't have asked. Hey, pal, look at the time. Was there something you needed to be going to? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm going to give him I'm going to give him my report for the day. Is that John Armstrong on that thing thing? It might help, you know. A report? You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he could use a report like this. I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you've got friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off, pal. Later. Whew. I should probably see what Edgeworth has to say, too. Oh my god, why did that take so long? What's up, Sheriff? Boy, I can't wait until I get freaking Dual Destinies when you don't have to go through all this. Just go straight to the location. <sighs> Checking the time. Ah, guest, my apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. Is Edgeworth here? There, standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. Ah, uh, it's you. He has the hotel bring him tea service? Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? Precisely. By the by, Detective Gumshoe, uh, by the by, by the way, by the by, by the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Oh yes, he brought me some information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me, somehow. Uh, I think the report is on the other side, Edgeworth. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. So, how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. You know, I want to examine something in the back. I'm not sure if he'll say anything, but let's see. A work desk. It's quite tidy, as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so high I can see my own reflection. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take that name plaque as a souvenir. Don't. He'll sue you. Oh, well, I guess I can't have him say anything about that steel samurai figurine. <laughs> Are you okay for the tomorrow's trial? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. However, 
something happened? They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police depart- The police department? Yes, any further investigation for this case will be directed by the chief of police, Gaunt. I can do nothing but wait for his results. I- I see. Why, I asked you, why? All along, I've done nothing what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still... Wow, I've never seen this out of sorts. Are we presenting something? Ah, yes, right. We got to ask him about why he was in the locker. Oh, right! I better check this now. As I was saying, I... Uh, what's this? A record of ID card usage. Edgeworth, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Why? Why, Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go. By Chief Gaunt, no less. The Chief of Police? He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. But it was solved, right? It would have to be... It would have to be if the evidence was already filled. The chief never w is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. Now I'm curious about this other case. I better make a note of it. So the rumor says is that the screwdriver was from the second case with red and white. That's the rumor, anyway. Stubborn as always. I told you, this has nothing to do with the current case. <sighs> okay. And now we present... Oops. Ah, we mount controls. Mm. I know you. You've probably got a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do with that case you were on. The SL9 incident. And some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life, as I recall. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. A bad memory. He's talking about the murder in the elevator. Okay, Edgeworth. Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. The SR9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time, Damon Gaunt. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago, too. Then I thought that was a question. <laughs> he was the best we had, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth. What I want to know is why I was the deputy chief of police on the investigation. In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer, so if I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict, and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't... Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code, and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. Uh, my sister? What? You're still working on that scientific investigation? Huh? Y yes of course! Why, just today Mr. Wright and I were using this! Lumino testing fluid, hmm? Well then, you might have use for this. Alum aluminum powder for making Pringer prints! It's been chemically treated for better addition. F for me? Are, are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files uh, for everyone involved. I, uh, thanks. How about giving these to G Detective Gumshoe as well? Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. Mm. Okie dokie. 
Alright, now we gotta make the law move back to the <laughs> office. Bye, Edgeworth. Huh. Marshall doesn't seem to be here anymore. So, let's go in here. Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Here, here, in this blood, in this blood on the detective's evidence locker. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? Each finger leans behind slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that will, left, that will have left behind the clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Quit procrastinating and choose a finger! Well, uh, we can use the index finger or the thumb. Let's use the thumb. Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First, we sprinkled the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? Just point and press the A, -A button. See? Ah, it looks like that did the trick. The aluminum power adheres completely to the print. Once the power is well spread, just blow away the ex the excess. Huh? How do I do that? Maybe shake the Wiimote would have been a more accurate way of putting it. Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake with a fan. See? <laughs> so that's how they solved the blowing thing on the Wiimote. Wow that, l wow, that looks like fun. It might take some getting used to, though. It's fine. It won't go up your nose or anything. Just You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. I guess I better give it a try. Do 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 Is that enough powder, guys? No. More powder. Aha! Uh -huh, you did it! You found one! But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem a shame. While we're at it, why don't we look for the other prints? Other prints? Looking at the locker door again closely. It seems like there are prints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Hmm. Fingerprints outside the blood. Alright, we'll point for that one. Alright. Oh, look at that. Yay, a print so clear, it's dazzling! D -d dazzling Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's match it up right away! Uh, I believe this thumb belongs to... So we're not done yet. This is quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? I guess he's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth. And point out the person you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to know who it was? I could make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So whose fingerprint would we most likely find on this evidence locker? <laughs> Gumshoe, obviously. belong to Detective Gumshoe. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess that's probably because I was thinking so what. Okay, so we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. Do 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 do. 
This is where we got a liminal fluid reaction, right? Right! There was a handprint here! Okay, wanna try using this? There go her there goes her eyes sparkling again. Let's check for prints. Okay, let's check for prints. That's the spirit! Oh, but I have to warn you about something first. What? The area with the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? It's, don't ask me! Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Oh. Uh. Alright. And then nothing comes up because I'm an idiot. Oh! Sweet! Alright, well, I can cheat and just tell you right now that's going to be Jake Marshall. <laughs> yeah, I'm saving this, the checking out stuff. Oh, awesome. Hey, these fingerprints, they... Whose are they? Whose? Is it someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Uh, Officer Jake Marshall? That's gotta be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma. These are... This are decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. The luminal reaction, the blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh! So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints. On a white blood stain. <laughs> Wiped, excuse me. <laughs> but why would Officer Marshall... It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. I... I don't believe it. And to be continued to the trial portion of this later on. I'll see you guys for that episode later.